I'm not sure if there's actually anything you can do here. Large deposit of uranium. Nothing here. Deposit of Sumerium. And there is a planet here that we can land on. Now, if I'm uh, not mistaken, this is actually the place where you need to go for um, the Renegade mission. If you've been playing Renegade and you get 80% Renegade points, you get a, uh, a specialty mission just like the one we just got, and it, it would be here. Of course, uh, we haven't gotten that mission, and um, it's very unlikely I will get it, since there's almost no way I can still get to 80% Renegade points, even if I play fully Renegade from, now on in, uh, from here on in. But we can still land here and see if there's stuff to pick up. So we're gonna do that, of course. There's a level 1 heat hazard. Though it is one of the oldest entries in the star charts, Nonwell has not yet been fully mapped. It is the largest body in the asteroid belt of the blue star Plutus. Not only large enough to maintain a spherical shape, but also massive enough to retain the noxious carbon and sulfur dioxides venting from its many volcanoes as an atmosphere. Nonuel is rapidly volcanic, and the source of its great heat is also the source of its inordinate mass. Nonuel is a secondary source of element zero, coalesced around a large chunk of Ezo ejected by a supernova a billion years ago. Surface conditions are extremely hazardous. In addition to the thin crust and numerous magma flows, wide stretches of the landscape are coated with slippery ash and cinders ejected from the volcanoes. Sounds like a nice place to visit. Um, I don't think it really matters all that much at this point. Let's do... Uh, Tali and Garrus. Because we don't actually have a mission here, and I don't think you can get into the building if you don't have a mission. So it's kind of irrelevant who we have with us. Let's start with this anomaly. Let's see. A couple of dead people here. I wonder what happened to them. And a crate. Judging by the footprints in the ash, the two mercenaries were facing each other over the crate when they died. Both suffered the single gunshot, uh, gunshot wounds and have a rifle close beside them. I guess they killed each other over the contents of the crate. It was one of the matriarch's writings. carefully wrapped, handwritten copy of one of the Matriarch's Dillanegas treatises. It is unlikely she penned it herself, but the flowing brushwork and intricate watercolor illustrations clearly show the hand of a master scribe. It must be very special if they were willing to kill each other over it. Do we have anything better for them? For uh, Tali, in particular, I mean? Any non-yellow armor, for example? I don't think so. Nor do we have a better exoskeleton, but we might have a better shield modulator. But in fact, we don't. Ah well, like I said, it doesn't really matter here. Let's see if there's anything inside. An upgrade kit. Inferno rounds and snow blind rounds. Nothing we didn't already have. Crap loads off. I think that's it. Nothing else around the outside here. Wait, no, there's another anomaly here. A medallion! He has a League of One medallion. No indication how or when he found it. At the very least, this uh, mission can help you with some of the... Um, ...recovery quests. Even if you didn't get the mission. Just another crashed probe. With uh, hard electronics, by the looks of it. I'm not gonna 
be able to do this one, I think. Nope. Omnigel enough, though. Incendiary explosive grenade upgrade. That sounds interesting. I want. And all we have left is the Warlord's Outpost, which, as I said, I don't believe we'll be able to get into, but let's check it out anyway. Spotted some Samarium on the way. There's the base, but, as I said, no way to get inside. If you get sufficient renegade points... Um, well, I basically have full Paragon points at this point, and I have a tiny bit of renegade points. And if you have enough of them, I guess uh, you need 70 or 80 percent, you will get a mission here to negotiate with this warlord. But, well, won't, we won't be getting that. I'll probably be getting a lot more Renegade points in the second game. Because there are some ways to get them in the second game, which... Um, are... not as blatantly bad as killing colonists or whatever. Nothing else here, I think. So let's head back and actually deal with the besieged base now. Of course, you really have to be keeping track of which system you have and haven't seen yet to even notice that this system showed up because nobody tells you about it. And it does not show up before you get the other mission. So, if you aren't keeping track of that yourself, you will never know. This is something they improved on in Mass Effect 2, where fortunately the game does show you exactly if you've been somewhere and how much of certain clusters you've completed before. We actually need to go to the um, Caicos... Oh, damn it. Caicos system. A misspelled cactus, I guess. Something like that. I don't know, I'm making this up. An enigmatic terrestrial planet with a large deposit of mercury. This appears to be the place we can land. Chloe is a terrestrial planet whose surface is mainly composed of aluminium, with numerous deposits of calcium. Though it has enough mass to retain a dense atmosphere, Chloe is clearly a vacuum. This lack of atmosphere allows a moderate average temperature. Uh, okay, sorry, it, it says nearly a vacuum. Thinking, how can a vacuum have temperature? But it's nearly a vacuum, so we'll, uh, it'll pass. But the differences between day and night are extreme. The surface of Choi's sunward facing site is usually covered by a haze of volatiles, mainly water vapor and carbon dioxide, which return to the ground as frost over the course of lo the long cold night. The Serta Foundation has established a research outpost on Choi to investigate the native subterranean life on Ch of Choi, which shows incredible resilience to extremes of heat and cold. Okay, and I guess these scientists are now being held hostage by these biotic guys. Well, since there are biotic guys here, I guess we're gonna take our resident biotics. So let's go with Caden uh, and Liara. Subtlety is needed here, and um, although Rex is another biotic, I don't think anyone has ever accused him of subtlety. Liara has a point. Well, let's uh, give her Master Singularity. Everybody else already has all their points. We picked up some stuff. Phoenix 8. 
No. We didn't pick up any new armor. No new medical interfaces either. We did pick up some old bunch of biotic tools before. So we can give Liara the Polaris 9. Nah, blue eye tools clearly better. Let's um, see, we've got an anomalous signal, a science base, and debris. Well, we'll start on this side, I guess. Well, there's our anomalous signal with a fuel tank, which will blow up if we shoot it, so let's don't do that. Let's not do that. And some other stuff. Locked crate, for example. With one of the matriarch's writings, in fact, in it. But that was not the anomaly. Close to the transmitter, your comms pick up a recording of a wistful string quartet. You power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been back for some time. The crates are covered with Joey's chalky dust, and the status lights of the shack indicate his atmosphere ran out long ago. I wonder where they went, then. More matriarch writings! <laughs> Unlike the food, still in good condition. Okay, let's not eat it, then. Man, how many of the Meteorarch writings can we have in one shack? Quite a lot, it seems. I wonder what the point was of that. I don't think we can find out what uh, actually happened. To the people here, let's head to the science base. Alright, there we are. Now, let's see if I can get through here without causing any civilian casualties. Let's make sure everybody's using the right weapon. Pistols all around, of course. With this team. Take down the terrorists, but remember to check your targets. The civilians are so addled by the drug, they'll wander right into the middle of a firefight. In other words, they're gonna make things hard on you. A malfunctioning object. I have no idea what those actually are. Except that they appear to be malfunctioning and somehow contain stuff. Alright. Keep an eye on who we're shooting at. I smell trouble. I'll kill you. We need to watch those things as well. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. It's chaos here. Damn it! I killed the researcher already. Go, go, go! I will destroy you. Go, go, go. I'm on it. I do not want to have dead researchers. I'm gonna do this again. Hostile spotted. I will die. Take cover. I will you must you. die. Go, go, go. I lost I shields. Will destroy you. I will destroy you. Ugh. Go, go, go. One to go! And no casualties so far. What the hell happened? I think we got him. No. I think we're good, 
Commander. I know we're good. No casualties this time. So, like I said, it's not necessary to do this without casualties. But it is something I set myself as a goal. But it seems we've got more. Terrorists. And somebody ran by there and I killed them. Fortunately, I just saved there. Let's see. I will Ow. <laughs> You've cleared the facility. All of the civilians are safe, though still chattering to themselves and screaming at the garbage cans. Evolution of humanity, huh? Those biotics didn't seem that different from the other scum you deal, deal with. Indeed. Well, I managed it. I think we're done here. I think you're right, except, of course, that we need to steal all of these people's stuff. Many much stuff. Oh, and we're nearing the limit of our inventory, which is okay, because we're going to do a story mission after this, so I was going to do a inventory clean-out anyway after this mission. I can't even see what it is. This is horribly placed... Okay, yeah. Those people are not in their right mind. Anything else? Some more insane scientists? And locked crate. They're in my head! All of them! With knives! I think that what he's doing is because he's insane, except, of course, that our squad mates do that all the time. So it's hard to know whether or not the game is doing that on purpose. Or not. Now that uh, <laughs> there's no enemies anymore, we're not allowed... What the hell? She just walked through this thing. We're not allowed to shoot them anymore. I guess you could still accidentally kill them by blowing up some of the explosive stuff. Although I don't know if it actually harms them anymore or if it counts. Probably not. That takes care of things here, anyway. And uh, we need to talk to Hackett before this mission is completed. I think we've got everything. No. There's still some debris. This is not going too well. But I got it. Deposit of mercury here. Ah! I was wondering when one of those would show up. We haven't seen him in a while. I'm moving to safety so I can save first. to actually be there. I mean, we can see them. 
see him, but he's not on the map, and we're, we can't hit him. Let's try using the... Uh, Enemy contact. ...jump strategy again. It does look like he's hitting us, but we're not getting damage. Which is fine with me! This is a lot more boring than the uh, running around way, but it works! There we go. I thought I remembered that this place had a fresher maw. Just didn't remember where. Yes, there's a probe here, but. I can't seem to actually focus on it, or do anything with it. Oh. I need to stand right on top of it. More stuff! At least I assume we have more stuff. It's kind of hard to see. One of those looked like a medical exoskeleton. Ooh, mercenary aid light armor. Actually seems to be better. What kind of horrendous color scheme am I getting myself in this time? Red. Oh, we already have a Mexico medical exoskeleton 9. And a shield interface 8, so that's fine. Just checking. That should be it. It is. Oh, um, I meant this button. Alright, we are out of UNC missions. This one will be finished as soon as we open the uh, galaxy map. That means it's time to head to Vermeer. But before doing that, I will, of course, go and deal with my uh, inventory. There is no one to talk to, so um, I guess you do not need to see me run downstairs. Alright, we're back. Basically just switched everyone over to good equipment and sold or omni-gel to the rest. Only bought one thing, some new armor for myself, which is uh, Predator 10. Which is uh, pretty good. Also looks snazzy. And I now have 8,270,886 credits. And 614 Omnigel. By the time we get done with Vermeer, we'll be up to 9,999,999, uh, which is the max. You can also not get more than 999 Omnigel, which I'm not sure if I'll get there. I might. I probably will, actually. <laughs> anyway, next up, Vermeer.